Alrighty guys, so we're outside of China Blue Restaurant right now. We're all the way up here in Corvallis, Oregon. This is gonna be their Lucky 7 Challenge. Awesome, thank you. Seven pounds of chicken with a $1,300 jackpot. Trans fat free oil. This is definitely gonna be interesting. Well, alrighty folks, we're out of class. It is 7 p.m. right on the dot. We're about to do this. About to make the drive all the way up to Corvallis, Oregon for the Lucky 7 challenge at China Blue Restaurant. I think the uh, drive says it's gonna be like 15 hours. You can call me stupid, you can call me crazy. Probably both. This is without a doubt gonna be insane. Stay tuned, guys. Alrighty folks, so it is 7.19 right now. We're starting the journey. But first, I gotta pick up some essentials at the store. Let's do this. Starting mileage, 19,000. And so, it begins. That fast. Uh, I'm starting to get a little bit hungry. I got like 12 and a half hours left. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Uh, usually with, with challenges that are a little bit more substantial, where I stretch my stomach a little bit more before I get into the actual challenge. But since I did ride today, I did train today, it's gonna complicate it a little bit more. So I definitely wanna get some protein in or something at least, you know, calorie wise in. Um, so that being said, I'm gonna have to get some food. Eh? Why not start with that moment? Alrighty guys, it's almost midnight. Had to stop for our first round of gas. Um, I am about, I would say, I'm, at, I'm in Fresno, I think. MapQuest says I have like 10 hours to go. So let's get back to it. But first, you guys know, I gotta dip into some popcorn because why not, right? Not bad, not bad. Carving up over here. Spill my popcorn all over the place, but oh well. Only 576 miles to go. Second stop, it's about 316. <sighs> At least we're more than halfway there. And I had to get more popcorn. And here we are. China Blue Restaurant. Trans fat free oil. This is definitely going to be interesting. Alrighty guys, so we're outside of China Blue Restaurant right now. This is going to be their Lucky 7 Challenge and what it is essentially is an hour time limit. 7 pounds of chicken with a $1,300 jackpot. Again, I have an hour to do this. I've been driving for about, I would say, uh, 15 hours now. So, it's not feeling too hot, but we're gonna try this anyways. Let's do it. Awesome, thank you. Can I get napkins? Yeah, I know, I know. Let me set that up first, thank you. I'll get your napkin, okay? One, one second, hold on one second, sorry. I gotta set my timer. Ready? Go. One, two, three. Times 1122, finishes 1222. Alrighty, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the video. Welcome to the challenge. You guys are watching 
my uh, challenge over at China Blue Restaurant in Corvallis, Oregon. I took on the Lucky 7 7 pound chicken challenge. Now this challenge featured 7 pounds of different types of chicken. I can't remember all of them to be completely honest, but I will say that my favorite by far was definitely the hazelnut chicken that was one in the very middle uh, in that bowl. So uh, I had an hour to complete this challenge. The jackpot was $1,300. So I had to make the drive all the way up there. I had to do it. It was just one of those things. Uh, overall guys, the challenge itself wasn't too, too difficult. I did enjoy this one. Uh, I was a little hesitant at first going into it just because I, you know, I haven't done a challenge in a little, in a little while really. And I was on 26 hours of no sleep. I literally got out of class at like 8.30 at night, made the overnight trip to go up here and showed up right when they opened. So I uh, walked into the restaurant, took the challenge, and uh, the staff was a little, uh, you know, different at first. I won't say that they were rude or anything like that, but I worked in the restaurant industry and I know it's hard when you have somebody showing up right when you open and everything like that and it's kind of difficult. So I made sure to uh, to be easy on them and uh, gave them a nice tip and everything like that. Everybody, hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Stay tuned for it. See you guys. Bob, sweet. Alrighty guys, well, it's almost 6.30 right now. Now a lot of you are gonna ask me, why did you drive almost 2,000 miles, operate on almost 36 hours of no sleep, put your body through all that stress, just for a food challenge? My answer to that, I'm young and I'm stupid, but I love food and I love food challenges. Now, something like this that builds and builds and builds, this was actually going on for, I think, a little over a year. A lot of uh, eyes were focused on this one, and a lot of people were gonna go and do it, so I wanted to make sure that I got it done. I was really discouraged because I was almost gonna do it as well last year, and I was actually like a day or two away from going out here and completing it, but uh, I didn't get around to it, and the challenge got done, and somebody got the money. I was just too slow last year, but this year I wasn't, so. Overall, I'm happy with my eating and everything like that, especially because I don't eat meat at all. Just going from a totally meatless diet to eating seven pounds of chicken in one sitting definitely shows me what I'm capable of. I do need to do a lot more training, but we got a big year coming up. Stay tuned for it.